just wanted to share a little video here um, of a recent repair to a uh, well, probably the cheapest DVD player I've ever ever come across. This one cost about fifteen twenty pounds, um, and was probably beyond the economical repair, if I'm honest. But um, I like a challenge, and um, this uh, Tesco example I don't even think has a proper model number. It says DPA eighty on the back of it, but I'm not even sure if that's a searchable uh, model number. But it's probably the cheapest, um, most basic DVD player I've ever come across. Um, again, no lights on this one when it came to the workshop, completely dead, and. Um, all signs pointed to power card now uh, that isn't the original power card fitted the original ones here and you can see it's very similar in terms of layout pins that kind of thing um, when I looked at this power card it was it had gone completely uh, duff and uh, testing several of the components on it just made it beyond economical repair uh, about six components are, are completely dead on here it's obviously catastrophically failed overheated uh, fit for the bin so get rid of that um, it turns out you can actually buy complete DVD power cards online, Amazon, eBay seem to do them. You have to pay attention to these pins here because they are subtly different from model to model. So you may have to suit your pins to suit, but this one's quite easy to rearrange the connector. Uh, this one's a plus 12, neg 12 rail uh, with 5 volts as well, logic, uh, output card. But this whole assembly here costs no more than a fiver. I had to wait uh, for it to come from China via Amazon, but... Again, I wouldn't normally bother with, with a repair like this, um, but just for the fun of it, uh, fun you say, um, I ordered a new card. It roughly slots into place. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. seems to be a bit more sophisticated, so hopefully it will live a longer life. Um, but yeah, just to show that uh, even a cheap, almost nasty DVD player like this can be saved from the bin with a replacement card costing a fiver. And uh, if yours has gone wrong, just a simple multimeter. Uh, this is my really, really old multimeter. Allow me to fault find to prove that that was duff. Ordering up a new card took a couple of clicks, and uh, it was with me about three weeks later. So well worth it.